to another vlog y'all mm, 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 mm. today we're doing a good old-fashioned spend the day with me and that's what we're gonna be doing <laughs> there's nothing specific that I'm gonna be doing today there are some stores and stuff that I want to go to um, other than that we're just gonna be hanging out girl what y'all doing I just felt like vlogging today today is Tuesday y'all know I do all my cramming on Tuesday so I can get this video up for y'all on Wednesday so <laughs> but today I woke up and I'm like I don't feel like putting anything together. I was like, I don't feel like doing anything specific. I just feel like vlogging. Like, this is just what I feel like doing. So today, we're gonna vlog. That's what we're gonna do. We said we're gonna do it, so we're doing it. So the one thing that I've noticed is that I am completely obsessed with these days off that I have for my job. Like, it's something that's growing. I'm just like, man, oh man, like on my days off, I just feel feel so alive like I feel just like <laughs> like I'm becoming obsessed with the things that I'm doing have y'all seen those videos on Instagram um, where people are making like little soft live videos and the song is playing in the background I think I like this little life this little life that is me like that is so me if y'all haven't seen it y'all gotta go find it like I think I like I'm pretty sure y'all saw it because it's like literally all over everywhere I've done one on my Instagram story too like I just feel like I'm so obsessed with this little life that I'm building outside of my job it is very weird I don't really know how to explain it like it's just I don't know it makes me want more and more and more and more and more of this life and it's only on my days off or when I take those little mini vacations like it just fuels me my days off from my nine to five fuel me hmm hmm I need to finish getting ready y'all never mind my room can y'all see my room in the background it is a mess I'm just wearing this little throw over oversized shirt Y'all seen it before, it's nothing special. And all black, of course, and I need to take this balloon out of my head. This scrunchie has been a lifesaver, okay? With all of this hair. I still really love my hair, don't get me wrong. I really love my hair, but like, woo! Throwing that mess up in a bun is top tier. And I need to put some lotion on because y'all ain't even tell me I was ashy. Y'all ain't even say nothing. Going in with my Osea oil because I am ashy. Love this oil, y'all. I love the way that it smells. Whenever I put this oil on and then I put on whatever perfume that I'm putting on for the day, I find that it just stays longer. Probably because it's oil and it just, you know, sticks. And it gives you like a natural glow too. Speaking of which, folks have been telling me that your girl is glowing. And let me tell you, I appreciate the compliments, okay? So many people have been telling me that, oh, you're glowing, your skin is glowing. And I think I'm just having a good skin week. <laughs> I also think that it is my tretinoin and my uh, facial wash that I have started. Y'all know a couple of weeks ago, I talked about my skin care and all that. And then I switched up my tretinoin when I went to that dermatologist. And she gave me something that was a little lighter. So I believe that combination with my um, facial wash that I've been using has been doing good. I'm not going to say like, oh yeah, it's completely fixed and you know, no more acne. But no, absolutely not. I will say that I think that combo that I have been using, that mixture, has been one of the contributing factors to my glow. Am I pregnant? No, don't trip. And then you know, your girl also got her hair did. You know, whenever you get your hair done, it's just like a new character unlocked, okay? New character unlocked. And I'm just in a happier mood. I've been in a happier mood. It's like, it's just good. It just feels good. It feels good. It feels good. I've been down. I've been gone for a minute, I feel like. I've been gone for a minute, now I'm back with the jump off. I've been gone for a minute, now I'm back with the jump off. But we do need to take this one out because look at the way she's staring at me. She gotta go to the bathroom. And like, it's giving 
She wants to bite my head off. Do you need to go use it? You want to go outside? Do you need to go take a potty break? You want to go take a pee pee? Should I even tell you guys where we're going? Or should we just find out when we get there? <laughs> I feel like you guys already know though, so let's, let's do this, let's do this. They sent me a coupon. Is it coupon or coupon? I always say coupon, but I heard it was coupon. They sent me a coupon for $2 off, and it's for between the 23rd and the 24th of July. What's today? Today is Tuesday, July 23rd. So we are just in time. Does anybody else put everything in their GPS even though they know exactly where they're going? That's like one thing that I I do. I do that so that I can avoid traffic and accidents and stuff. Cause you know how sometimes the GPS will take you like around, around the accidents and stuff. Even though it's probably no accidents right now, it's literally 10.30 in the morning. But well, we don't know. We don't know. Let's go. Got it in our GPS, just in case there's any accidents so that we can get there faster. Starting route to wave three coffee. Play 2000s R&B. Girls in the movies, to have a man so in love and makes him drop to his knees. You should be rocking the latest in purses, bracelets, and watches. You're worth much more than occasional. I love you, I'm thinking of you, and I don't want to come between you and your man. No, even though I know I treat you better than he can. secured the match okay he gave me two dollars off because they had a coupon coupon <laughs> for all the drinks today between today and tomorrow mm, and of course I got extra blueberry extra lavender extra extra everything the problem is <clears throat> I think I waited too late to eat it's 11.04 and I am starving so I'm really hoping that this matcha is going to just kind of curve the appetite a little bit but I'm really kind of hungry, so I don't know. Next, we are about to hit up this thrift store down the street because I want to go thrifting. I feel like going thrifting. I'm taking you guys with me, of course. Just want to see what I can find. I'm not really looking for anything specific. I got to be in the mood to thrift. And today, I'm in the mood, so let's go. Nobody told me that the Trader Joe's in Buckhead was way bigger than the one in Midtown. Like, girl, girl, I'm just leaving Trader Joe's, of course, in Buckhead. And like, what the heck? I went in there and like, oh my 
one. So yeah, mind y'all, this is the same one that I tried to go to in the last vlog the other day. And I was already over here um, at wave three getting my matcha. And I was like, let me just try it one more time. Let me just pass by because it's Tuesday, right? And remember the other day was Sunday, I think I went. Saturday or Sunday, I think it was on Sunday. And I was like, ain't no way. Girl, I get in here, first of all, I found a parking space right in the front. Second of all, pull a buggy from the outside, go in, and it was like a whole new world. When I tell y'all, it is so much space in there. My buggy was just gliding through the floors. It's just bigger. It wasn't that many people in there either. So it was just such a nice experience. I guess I'm about to start going to the Trader Joe's of Buckhead, even though it's a little bit further. Um, but I'm gonna still be going to the one in Midtown too, because the girl again told me Fridays is when it's not that busy. But this one over here is bigger, and I felt like they just had more stuff. They had the same stuff that the Midtown location had, but it was like more of it, if that makes any type of sense. Girl, ooh, I'm just out here experiencing life and finding bigger Trader Joe's. Oh. This is all I need in the world. These are the things that make me the most happy. Finding a larger Trader Joe's that I knew nothing about that was literally down the street the entire time. What are we talking about? Mm. Finding a front parking space? Girl! crazy i just got a couple things to eat over the last couple of days i am starving what time is it it is 1 all i had was that matcha and i am starving i'm about to make me a spring roll because i have been obsessed with the spring roll that's all i've been eating over the last two days is spring rolls um so yeah i just got a couple things for breakfast i got bacon liquid egg whites for dinner i'm just going to pop some of the chicken shawarma thighs in the oven and maybe do like a veggie or something like that on the side. That's all I got at Trader Joe's. Oh, and then, take that back, I got this Thai sweet ginger sauce. I haven't tried this sauce yet, so I'm about to make my spring roll and then we're gonna try it with this new sauce. Y'all know I made the peanut sauce in the last vlog. I made it again and I don't know. It just is the peanut butter and the, it's like something is missing. I just, I need more than those two ingredients. So I was like, girl. So I seen this when I was in Trader Joe's and I'm like, this would be perfect, 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 perfect for the spring rolls that I'm about to have for lunch. So yeah, only got three pieces of shrimp. This is enough for like one big roll. So I like this meal. It's easy, it's simple, it's healthy, it's crunchy, all the things. While that's cooking, I'm gonna get my rice paper. One sheet of rice paper. And for my next trick, I'm chopping up all of my veggies. Lettuce, cucumber, basil, no, mint. I need some basil. Dang, I should've got some basil when I was in there, I forgot. Carrot, cilantro, green onion. My shrimp came out looking so good. Look at that shrimp. Girl, look at that, look at that, look. It came out good. There it is. I made an extra big one today because I'm hungry for lunch. I put extra shrimp, everything, extra carrot, extra cucumber, lettuce, all the veggies. I put double the amount that I've been putting in there and then I put double the amount of shrimp that I put in there as well. And I think it turned out cute. I'm about to cut this bad boy. Focus, focus. Ooh, I got all my stuff in there. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna try it with the sauce. This is what it look like cut. Ooh. All those veggies is packed with veg. Got the sauce. And the sauce is actually really good on its own. So now I'm gonna try it. Got the sauce, got the half. Mmm. I'm gonna eat 
the rest of this, sit down for a second, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I got at Goodwill. I was gonna show you guys what I got at the thrift store. I found a couple of cute things. Originally, I was like, I didn't find anything, but I found these pants, a top, and then I'm gonna show you the third thing that I found, which I was like, girl, I cannot believe I found this. Anyway, so these pants, they are from Sheen, 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 whatever, whatever. They're really cute. They're like these, um, what is this, linen style pants. So I didn't realize that they had a split all down the middle, sorry, all down the side. But when I originally seen them in the thrift store, I was like, oh, these are so cute. I can do like a nice little white summer top or something with it. Y'all know I'm on these vacation vibes as far as dressing and all that. I didn't try them on until I got home. When I got home, I was like, what the heck? And they split down the sides, both sides. So I think they're really cute. They're fun. They're kind of like beachy type of pants. So if I go on vacation, I'm going to bring these. But I think they are super, super duper cute. And then, and then the other thing that I got was this top. It's an Amber Crombie and Fitch. This is my first ever Amber Crombie anything. I, believe it or not, I've never even been inside Amber Crombie before, ever. I've been only at the very like front entrance in the mall where it smells all good. Like the store always smells really good. I've only been in there, but I've never actually gone inside the store before. So I don't know, I just thought the top was cute. It's just like this plain knit like racer back type top that you can put under like jeans or like some of my flowy pants or something. I actually got this to go with those pants, but it didn't really look right. So, but I, I like both of them separately. So I'm gonna keep them both. And y'all look what I found. I cannot believe I found these. I really feel like these were somebody's like wedding gift or something because there's no way, there's no way. It's a set of four. I'm gonna open them up. If you guys refer back to, I don't know, it was like a couple of vlogs ago and I was telling you guys that I wanted some new glasses, some new wine glasses and regular glass. Why is it, why can't I open them? Ah! <laughs> if you guys go back to that vlog, I was talking about all of that good stuff. And I can't believe that I found these glasses. I was like, what the world? Like this is clearly, somebody put these down and I don't know why they gave these away, but they gave them away and they're, it's a brand new set of four. And I paid $6 for them. Six, I think it was $6.99 for this brand new set of four. Y'all look. What? Look at these glasses. They're the same glasses that I just bought a couple of weeks ago, but they're the shorter, fatter ones. I like the drink, like have a drink glass. That's what these are. I'm like, so when I found the other ones in Ross a couple of weeks ago, these are actually really popular. At this point, I've seen these at World Market. I've seen them at, when I was at William & Sonoma a couple of weeks ago, and then I got the glasses at Ross for I can't remember how much. They were really affordable though. And I got a set of four. And then I went to the thrift store and I found these. They're just a really popular glass right now, I guess. But I really like this shape. And it's a set of four. Let me show you guys the ones that I already have. Okay, so as you can see, these are the ones that I already have. These were the ones that I found at Ross. Found the almost identical, actually they are identical, but the shorter ones. What? Get into that. Now I have the set. So I got four of the longer ones and four of the shorter ones. I'm gonna wash these and I'm gonna make me a little mocktail later on tonight so you guys can see. I've been into the mocktails lately too. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm gonna do for dinner. I'm gonna do my shawarma chicken thighs and either a salad or a veggie and I'm gonna make a mocktail with these glasses. Just because they're new. I haven't even used these. I think I'm more excited about these than I am these. much later in the evening 
It's actually nighttime now and I just got finished putting my chicken thighs in the oven as you guys saw. I decided to cook kind of late because I'm really meal prepping these chicken thighs. That spring roll kind of lasted me a little while and then I had like a bunch of water and stuff so I wasn't like super super hungry. And then I've been like editing all day too so I just kind of got caught up and I was like you know what I'm just going to throw these in the oven right now. Meal prep it for tomorrow and the next day I only got like four. I think it's like three or four in there, but they're kind of big too, so I can break it up. But what I am going to do is make my little mocktail. So with this mocktail, I don't have like a recipe or anything. I just, just, just started getting into the mocktail situation. And it was really by accident because I accidentally had this stuff that I was using for a regular cocktail. And I was like, I'm just gonna put this in some juice and call it a day, so yeah, hold on. Okay, so here is what I'm using. It's this simple margarita non-alcoholic cocktail mix. I'm just gonna throw in some of my Trader Joe's grapefruit juice. A small dash of this peach simple syrup. I don't know, it says, I don't know if this has alcohol in it or not. It doesn't say non-alcoholic on it. However, it doesn't tell me the percentage of alcohol that's in it, so it's either or. I'm gonna go ahead and say it doesn't have any in there. I'm really not sure, but I'm just gonna add a dash for a little bit of sweetener because the grapefruit juice is bitter. Of course, I'm using my new glass. Witherspoon I think and these two little boys they found him I feel like I've seen this movie like a long time ago because some of the parts are kind of familiar in it but so far it's good yeah so far it's good I'm all in this movie I think he killed somebody because apparently Matthew McConaughey is on the run because he killed somebody I think I think. Anyway, um, I'm going to end the vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending the day with me. I had a lot of fun today. We did a lot of things. We did like a lot and nothing at all at the same time. Yeah. I'm going to finish my little cocktail, mocktail, and I'm going to finish watching this movie that I can't seem to take my eyes off of. And yeah, <laughs> again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog.